Hello. Um, it is me again. And this time, I spoke about the borderline personality disorder. Now, it's kind of hard to tell but when one has multiple things, you can almost tell which one is uh, flared up and which one isn't. But when it seems like all hit at the same time, you don't know if you're coming to know which issue is prominent. Um, I'm not even sure. I know in the early 90s it is no, excuse me, the late 90s is when I was uh, told about the borderline personality disorder. I didn't find out about the major depressive disorder until sometime in 2000. Being depressed, and some people would say my get up and go has got up and gone, and not wanting to do anything, wanting to just sleep, stay in the bed. I guess that's mainly the depression. But then with the borderline personality disorder, you know, I guess some of the stuff overlap. But when people don't understand when you have depression, that Sometimes you don't want to do anything. You don't, you have no desire to do any of the things that you love to do. You don't, you just don't feel like doing nothing. You don't even want to answer the phone. For me, I turn the ringer off. I lock my house up and I don't like being alone and I suffer very badly with um, abandonment issues but when people come around you and they say that you're depressing your home is depressing uh, you're living in darkness well if you lived in my shoes you would understand <clears throat> you would understand what it feels like uh, to just to be in that space. And on one of the other um, videos that I did, like I said, I'm sort of new at this, and I'm hoping that maybe something that I can share with someone that they realize they're not alone, and that, you know, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, Everybody of all different nationalities uh, suffer in some type of way. You have some people who are afraid to even admit that they have an issue, nevertheless be um, slightly a, a little brave to put it out there. But a lot of things that I try to do, I try to help other people in some kind of way. That's the only thing that sort of makes me feel like I have a self-worth and um, even though they say a lot of people suffer with depression um, ooh, I can't even explain the, the significance of the major depressive disorder because when you look at it Outside of the self-harm and whatever, I, I can't even, I can't even get into this because this is, it's, 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 it's very depressing. Well, naturally I'm depressed. It's very depressing to know that outside of your doctors, and you have to have a very good doctor to support you. Your family don't understand, and I'm not saying that 
prayer don't change things. But some people, you know, they get a release, they get a healing right away, and then I'm not gonna say that nothing's too hard for God. But sometimes I think my mind is so screwed up that there is no help for me. I have pastors, elders, and all the they just say they don't understand me. Or they say, oh, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. But if you was to look on the inside and see how I'm hurting, how I'm bleeding, then I started um, expressing myself. I think I stated before in my writing. And this one particular thing that I put on Facebook, I really don't know where it came from. But somewhere deep down inside, it was short and it came out. But there was only two people on my page that was able to relate to it and they picked up on it right away. And that's because they have, um, they were basically diagnosed with the same thing with the borderline personality disorder. I'm going to share that and this is going to be a very short thing because for some reason, I feel like I'm about to just totally break down and start crying and I can't even say why, but I don't want to say it's a norm and for the last couple of days I've been riding the emotional roller coaster of life trying to get myself together. A uh, few people walked out of my life uh, recently because of my outbursts and they just didn't understand it and they just said whatever they wanted to say and it just made situations worse. So if you can't get away from a situation, you have to try to get that person away from you that's saying things that are uh, triggering to you that makes you worse than what you would have been if you would have been if it wasn't a situation going on. And no, I won't say you're better off being by yourself because abandonment is a big thing. Okay. This is titled Your Last Breath. You're talking but no one's listening. You're hearing but no one is talking. You turn around and the road seems so far. In front of you there's a black hole, hole full of tar. What does this mean? Your last breath. Where will you go? Your last breath. Who would really know? Close your eyes and lay there in the snow. What does this mean? Are you really listening? Uh, this is one of my thought provoking statements for the month of January of 2017. Um, at that time, whatever I was feeling, it came out on the paper. So sometimes I feel like there's a black hole inside of me that the negative emotions and everything that's troubling me wants to go into, but there's something blocking it where it can't go into. I'm being consumed. Um, and I'm trying not to be consumed. I'm trying to get free. I don't like it when I stay in the bed for two or three days. I don't like it when I go on this thing where I don't want to eat. Um, or on the flip side, I decide to binge eat. I don't like this part of my life. Um, and I don't like it when the doctor says, it's okay. You just have to sit with your feelings. Well, put down the textbook and try walking in my shoes and experience what I'm experiencing through my eyes. Live it one day and then you will understand. This is not easy. So, if someone diagnosed you with 
major depressive disorder and if you don't fully understand it and they try to throw another diagnosis on top of that and they want to use you as a guinea pig as far as the different medications I don't care what age you are look up the medicine advocate for yourself a lot of these medicines will cause more side effects than a little bit and please watch out for the ones that will put tons of weight on you so advocate for yourself when it comes down to the medication um, you have a voice don't let your voice be silenced you know you you know how you feel and you can only explain it the best way you can if you can't explain it then you know write it down and then maybe you can make sense of it and maybe can be able to read it to your doctor uh, so they can help understand what you're what you are feeling I found that that was helpful for me with one particular doctor it didn't seem like no matter what I said they were against everything they were not very concerned or helpful but because of issues of abandonment and stuff like that I couldn't walk away and ask for another doctor because I wasn't subject to change very easily so I put up with it until I had an episode and snapped out in the doctor's office what did it do it just landed me with them writing more prescriptions for medication and no once I read up on the medicine I didn't take it some of the stuff seemed okay less side effects I tried it but I didn't take anything without reading up on it first um, so yeah I'm very it's hard to find good a good therapist because you got to have patience to deal with people who has multiple issues and in one of my statements of someone who always said this to me really your get up and go has got up and gone and yes for the videos that I did thus far it has been a major E for effort but since nobody wants to listen to when I'm going through I figured that if anybody else has experienced anything remotely close to me I try, I try to I try to let people know that they're not alone and if you can advocate for yourself and put a finger on it without turning to self-harm you can make it now as far as it's hard I don't know I can't dis distinguish the difference because before, well, even with borderline personality disorder, you still have traces of being depressed. So it's like, which one is more prominent? You really don't know. Bottom line is, there's a chemical imbalance, and basically, the way they say drugs got your brains fried, well, the mental health diagnosis has my brain scrambled up that I don't know what is triggering what and I don't like being a ticking time bomb and not knowing if somebody's going to say something that's going to cause me to react and then I feel bad when people do try to be around me because they got to walk on eggshells because they don't know what's going to um, what's going to set me off so because they don't want to walk on eggshells they tend to not be around and with them not being around that means what you're all by yourself and it's not a very comfortable feeling it's not a good feeling at all and I didn't expect to talk this long so um 
Yes, I'm having one of my moments, and I don't know um, how long it's going to take for me to snap out of this. So I'm going to stop at this point and try to get myself together. You all be blessed and keep smiling. And just keep in mind that there is hope. Uh, a lot of our conditions can go in remission. They may not completely go away, but we can work towards a life worth living. Bye-bye now.